Oh, I cannot wait for Thanksgiving. We're gonna jump right into these recipes. So we're gonna start out with two cups of almond flour. Add in a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, and then you want to blend that up and then add your wet ingredients. So we're gonna use one egg, or you can do one flax egg, and then one tablespoon of coconut oil. By the way, we're making pumpkin pie, friends, and this is the crust, not the actual pie, but you know, you gotta have both, and there's nothing like a homemade crust. So pop that crust into your pie mold, hold, not really sure, pie pan, pie dish, there we go, okay. Put it in there and then cover it with foil and you're gonna bake it for about 15 minutes at 350. And this is gonna make sure that that crust is nice and crispy. Moving on to the filling, we have 15 ounces of canned pumpkin, or you can get really fancy with it and bake and puree your own pumpkin. Uh, I'm just going with the canned pumpkin here. And then a third of a cup of honey or agave and a third of a cup of canned full fat coconut milk with two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice and three eggs or flax eggs one tablespoon of melted coconut oil, and that is your filling. So blend it up, and then you wanna pull out that pre-baked pie crust and add in your filling. I baked mine for about an hour at 350 Fahrenheit, but you wanna watch it and make sure that that center is nice and set before pulling it out of the oven, and there's your homemade pumpkin pie. Moving on to Bo and I's favorite cranberry sauce ever. You wanna start out with 12 ounces of cranberries and then add in half a cup of honey and then three fourths of a cup of orange juice and basically just kind of boil this on a medium heat until you got all the berries boiled and then cool it off in the fridge and you're done. If you are gluten free, you are going to love this next recipe. It's stuffing. So you wanna start out with a cup of chopped apple, three and a half cups of sweet onion. I prefer sweet onion in this recipe and you wanna make sure that you're sauteing that in a little bit coconut oil add in your two and a half cups of celery and then I'm gonna add in two teaspoons of sage spices are really important here a fourth of a teaspoon of marjoram is that how you say it I don't know I'm gonna be honest a fourth of a teaspoon of rosemary salt and pepper of course you gotta have salt and pepper and then you also want to go ahead and add in there two teaspoons of thyme and you need to make sure that you have these spices like this is what is truly going to make the stuffing taste Tastes like a true traditional stuffing because we're not using bread in this recipe because it is gluten free. But I will tell you, if you use these spices, you're gonna be pleasantly surprised, it's so good. So for the flour, you wanna do two cups of almond flour and a fourth of a cup of dates with three eggs or you could do flax eggs as well, whatever you prefer. And then you wanna add that mixture into your veggies and the apple and everything like that. And you wanna bake it at 350 for about 50 minutes Keep an eye on it and make sure that it really bakes all the way through and you're done. Uh, lastly, we are gonna do my favorite sweet potatoes. I make these every year. So you just wanna boil your sweet potatoes for about 20 to 30 minutes in some water and then literally just stir in some almond milk once you mash them. Add in your cinnamon and pumpkin pie spice and then add in about three to four tablespoons of maple syrup. And I will say these are my favorite sweet potatoes ever. I top them with a little bit of honey roasted pecans. You just roast your pecans in the oven and top it with honey. Literally, that's it, and it's very, very delicious, and these were definitely a hit. Okay, I will tell you that these are the best green beans ever. You wanna start out with half a chopped, half a chopped, half of a chopped sweet onion and saute it. Add in your green beans and mix those in, saute a little bit more, and then you wanna sprinkle it with dried garlic and then add in a splash of agave. This just adds a little bit of sweetness, not too much. Salt and pepper, generous amount of salt and pepper, and then coconut aminos. <laughs> this is probably the most important ingredient. Just literally add until you can't add anymore. <laughs> That's what I do. And I don't really use a measurement on this recipe just because it's super easy. You just kind of throw it together and that's it. Those are your green beans. And as far as my table setting, which I love my table setting, my mom made this beautiful, gorgeous, like succulent thing with a pumpkin. I don't know how she did it, but she's a just a creative genius. And I put some dried eucalyptus on some napkins and threw in some pumpkins on my cute little macrame runner. And that was pretty much it. And then you just serve it up. And I just love the way that this looked. It was super pretty and definitely very Thanksgiving festive like. And that's it. Serve it up and just enjoy your time with your family and your friends. These recipes are so delicious. Let me know if you try them out. How Hashtag Cambria's Kitchen and happy Thanksgiving. I really hope that you enjoyed that video 
with all the recipes. I just want to say before you go that I personally, I used to really struggle with Thanksgiving. I used to get around this time of year and I used to almost look at Thanksgiving as an opportunity for me to overindulge and just eat whatever I wanted. I was really struggling with binge eating and I felt like Thanksgiving was a day where I could just kind of like hide beneath the shadows because everybody was overeating and I basically thought that in a way I could just kind of like hide behind Thanksgiving as a day for nobody to really notice the internal struggle that I was really dealing with. Maybe you're struggling this year, maybe you're going into Thanksgiving or maybe you're going into every single day feeling really defeated with yourself. And whatever that struggle looks like for you, whether it's binge eating, maybe you're struggling with anorexia, maybe you're just struggling in general with your body image. I know that years ago I would have typed in healthy Thanksgiving recipes and I would have just used that like I'm going to eat, I'm just going to eat really, really healthy and everything else is unhealthy. and. That's not the case. I don't want this video to be something that fuels any unhealthy habits in you because I was once there. I once struggled really, really bad with binge eating and with my body image. I'm gonna go to Thanksgiving this year with my family and I'm gonna eat food and I'm gonna enjoy it. I'm not going to be monitoring or restricting. There were so many years where I would monitor my food and I would only eat a certain amount of Thanksgiving food and then there were the other years where I was just like, I, I just, I can't control myself anymore. I'm just gonna binge. I'm just gonna use this as an excuse to hide because everybody's overeating. I just want you watching this video that if you're struggling right now, if you're struggling this year, that Thanksgiving is a time for you where you feel you need to be restrictive so that you don't overeat. Or on the other hand of it, you've, you've been so restrictive that you feel powerless against binge eating. Or maybe you're just not gonna eat at all on Thanksgiving and that's another way for you to control. And I just, I want you to be free today, not just on Thanksgiving, but every single day that you can walk in freedom, that food doesn't have to be something that you're enslaved to. I wanted more than anything for so many years to be thin, and I desired being thin over being free. And when I let go of that, when I said, I'm not going to allow my image to rule me, I began to truly walk in real freedom and say, I can eat healthy and it is a discipline to eat healthy, but it's not something that's all consuming, that I'm obsessed with, that that's all I think about. And for years I did, for years I only thought about food. All of my thoughts went to what am I eating, how much am I eating, and how can I get thin, and I don't want to overeat, and, and it just led me into a horrible relationship with food and my body. And I don't want you this year, not only this year, but every year and every day, I don't want you to be enslaved to that kind of mentality. I want you to just today say, I'm gonna accept my body and I'm gonna love myself and I'm not gonna put these restrictions on myself of I'm not allowed to overeat on Thanksgiving, I'm not allowed to eat anything unhealthy on Thanksgiving. Just get rid of all the rules and say, I'm just gonna honor and listen to my body. And if I wanna eat a little bit more on Thanksgiving, that's okay. And if I wanna eat just until I'm satisfied on Thanksgiving, that's okay. And giving yourself grace in your life because what we forget is that we think that we're gonna restrict ourselves and we're just gonna restrict and restrict and restrict until we get to our desired outcome. But what ends up happening is, is that we restrict so much that we realize, whoa, I'm actually becoming enslaved to this. I'm actually becoming obsessed with what I look like. And so I just wanna say that because I know that you can walk in freedom. I believe in you. If I got out of binge eating, I know that you can too. And I and the first step in that is saying, I'm not, I'm not gonna diet. I'm not gonna restrict myself. I'm not gonna count calories. I'm not gonna count macros. Now that's just personally for me. That's what worked for me is saying all of this, I'm done with it. I'm just gonna listen to my body and I'm gonna walk in freedom today. I know that if I can do it and then if I sat for so many years on my bed sobbing because I felt powerless against my restrictive habits and I felt like if I stopped dieting that I would never get to my desired body type and this perfect image that I had in my head. And if I can let that go and if I can say I'm no longer gonna be ruled by my image, I know that you can too. I just wanna say that in this video because Thanksgiving was a really challenging time for me because it's kind of like all about the food and everybody's eating and it was such a painful day of the year for me and and I don't and I just I don't want it to be that for you. I want you to enjoy it. 
Um, I want you to enjoy the time with your friends and your family and yourself and that it can be something that you enjoy, that food can be something that you enjoy again, whether it's unhealthy or healthy or whatever it is, it doesn't matter because you are walking in freedom. And so this video and these recipes are just to just show you some some fun, healthy ways to make food. This is genuinely the way that I would make Thanksgiving dinner, not because I'm trying to cut out sugar, cut out this, cut out that, just because I enjoy cooking with whole foods. I like sweetening things with agave or honey and using things like almond flour, a whole, just a whole meal flour that's something that is just, it makes me feel good. And so that's why I did this video is because this way of eating makes me feel good. It makes me feel uh, just great. My digestion feels good. And it's not because I'm trying to have my image rule me. And I, and I want that, it's not about me here, it's about I want you to experience that same freedom because I know that you can. I don't know exactly what you're going through because you're unique and, and everybody is unique in and of itself, but I will tell you this, that every woman at one, at one point in her life has looked in the mirror and said, I'm not happy with myself, I'm dissatisfied. And I want you right now to just say, I'm gonna accept myself, I'm gonna walk in freedom. And that's as simple as it is, we overcomplicate it so much that we say, well I need to do this and this and this in order to you know, get to my desired body image or in order to be free. All you have to do, literally all you have to do is just say, I love myself and I love myself enough to walk in freedom. So. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop dieting, I'm gonna stop restricting myself, I'm gonna stop over-exercising, I'm gonna stop being obsessive about food. And I think what can happen here on these videos, and this is what I used to do for years, is I used to come on here and look up healthy recipes so that, um, again, I could just kind of hide, hide behind my uh, healthy eating as a way of, of, I just really disguised the pain, I guess, for years behind healthy eating, you know? I was just healthy eating, and what I was really doing was I was restricting myself so badly that I was struggling with binge eating and I was really struggling with my body image. And I never want these healthy videos to be that for you. I want, I want these videos, these cooking videos, to show you that, hey, it's really fun to cook with whole foods, wholesome foods. Um, but what I really want to show you is that it doesn't matter ultimately. Nothing that you can put in your mouth will ever defile you. You are beautiful because of what's on the inside and it's truly what's in your heart that counts. And I just wanna encourage you this year that you truly can do it. Whatever you're struggling with right now, um, you can just choose to, to walk in freedom. Yeah, don't, don't be afraid of giving yourself grace. I think that a lot of the times that we really are and I was afraid to do that for so many years. So give yourself grace this holiday season. I love you so much and I hope you enjoyed these recipes. Everybody has different allergies and food things. If you can't have eggs, you can always substitute flax eggs. If you can't have like nuts, like almond flour, you can always substitute with rice flour. Um, just make it, make it so that you can have it and so that you can eat it and you can enjoy it and um, make it fun. Cook whatever you want. This is just this is just some ideas and inspiration and I hope that you enjoyed it. I had so much fun making this video for you guys and I love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.